All right, so I've made a few more changes. I'm just going to talk about these changes since I was kind of experimenting. So first of all, I took all the fingers and subdivided this bone here, and then I subdivided the end so that there's a, a joint at each joint. I suppose now that I look at this, I've got it a bit in the wrong place here. So now each finger has three bones in it. Let's see, I think the names of them may be wrong. So index finger L, L1, L2, middle finger L, L1, L2. Okay, so that's right. So if I subdivide it once and then subdivide it again, it does it, it names them correctly. I found out it actually names them incorrectly when in the uh, in the femur area, I just subdivided it twice and it ended up being called L, L2, and L1. So I had to work fairly hard to get those names back to being correct. Uh, so make sure you subdivide once and then subdivide the uh, end, the tail end, uh, if you are going to subdivide things. Still not sure I want to do the neck like this. I have a bone here and then another bone here and another bone there. Um, the neck is somewhat mobile, but I'm not sure it's that mobile and I don't think really the bottom starts here actually. I may as well just fix that while I'm dealing with it or while I'm here. Uh, so I don't know if I want to do the neck with the three bones or if I want to uh, fix it and only have one bone. Um, I've made another bone here between the two eyes and made them a child of that. That way when I'm posing, I can just grab the one bone and move it around to move her eyes. I have um, suppose that's about it. I also did some surface to form modifiers on the clothing. So if I move, the, move her leg or arms or whatever, the clothing moves along with her. That way I can actually move her around quite a lot without her getting mood on us. This is all full forward kinematics so far. So I'm going to make a few more tweaks while I'm here because I've discovered when I move her head the deforms of her jaw look rather weird because it's halfway between the face and the neck here. So I'm going to take everything and set it back to the default. I'm going to take this bone here, duplicate it, scale it down a little bit, make it active elements rotate. I can tell where the head and the tail is when I do that way. So I'm going to make that be the jaw. The jaw doesn't um, actually do anything, it just catches deformed for uh, in the future when the jaw can actually move. So I suppose I'll call that diff jaw line L and that needs to be a child of that. Then I suppose I want to have um, uh, pectoral on uh, here. Pectoral I suppose should be a child of the spine and it does some stretching too in magic. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that yet so I suppose what I'll do is take the clavicle duplicate it and I want the head to be down here it's stretching through out here so I'm going to go ahead and set it up correctly because there's going to be two parts of the pectoral. Alright, and if I remember right, the pectoral means to go up here. Uh, the rest is going to have its own thing. Alright, so that's going to be, uh, this one will be called Death Pectoral in there about L. And this one is going to be called Death Pectoral Outer uh, L. And then Uh, if I delete those bones, oh great, they'll, they don't go away. Armature symmetrize, that's uh, Y for symmetrize. Okay, so now I should have detector all inner and outer the R. Um, those are going to be deforming bones, yes they are. This one needs to be a child of the spine here. Well, it already is, right, because I duplicated it from here. You can actually see the parent relationship lines if you're really good, if you're a really good Ollie. Alright, I suppose while I'm here also I may as well make um, um, the trapezius. And trapezius stretches to 
that area for now we won't have a stretch to but um, it'll be stretching to sort of back in this area up here so this one will call the trapezius lower dot l get rid of that one and do armature symmetrize it's sometimes faster than typing the names all uh, right, and that's already the parent of the spine, so if I rotate that, the trapezius goes along for the ride. I suppose I should start naming these things. So these are like muscles and things like that, so I'm going to create a, another bit and call this muscles, tendons, um, I believe also things like fat. And that's I'm going to make this red color, and I'm going to assign those. I guess I need to go do the same thing over here. Alright, so that bit is correct. Just trying to get the basic bone so I can start adding controllers using rig on the fly. Alright, it's getting a bit noisy here. I'll stop for this session and start up again in a second. <laughs>